and welcome back. This is episode number 9 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. Let's get started. So in this tutorial, you are going to create your first circuit. For that, you will need to have an Arduino board, a breadboard, an LED, and a 220 ohm resistor. If you are not sure about how to read the resistor's value, then please go back to the previous tutorial in the series. Before we go and manipulate real hardware components, here is a quick word of caution. So in any case, you don't really risk anything for yourself or other persons. The current and voltage inside the Arduino are really not that high. The biggest risk you have is to make a short circuit which may damage a hardware component or the board itself. In most cases, you should be pretty safe. The Arduino is actually quite hard to burn, but it's still possible if you manipulate it in the wrong way. Don't worry though, if you follow a few basic rules, you will have no problem. First, when you want to modify something in the circuit, even just one wire, then if you are not 100% sure of what you do, the best way is to first power off the Arduino, which means removing the USB power cable from the Arduino side or the computer side. Make your modifications, double check your circuit, and power the Arduino again. Second, double or triple check all your circuits before you power on the Arduino. This will make you avoid very simple mistakes, like for example, connecting 5 volts or a digital pin directly to the ground. I personally double check all my circuits, even for the most simple ones. Third, now when the Arduino is powered on, don't use any metallic tool like a screwdriver or a pen to touch the circuit. With this, you already have a chance of creating a short circuit and thus burn a component or the Arduino board. And finally, four, when you build a circuit, you will connect multiple hardware components together and or with the Arduino pins. Make sure that all your components are connected to the same common ground. This is super important, both for safety and to get correct results. A good practice is to first connect the ground whenever you add a new component. And we will see more about that in the following lessons of the course. Alright, now don't be too scared of manipulating your Arduino board. If you follow those basic recommendations, you should be totally safe. And now let's build that first circuit. Let's create your first Arduino circuit with one Arduino board and one LED. To show you how to create the circuit, I will first use the Tinkercad simulation and then, just after this in the same video, I will show you how to do it with the real Arduino and real hardware component. I start with Tinkercad because this is easier to explain things because the interface is really well made and you can clearly see what are the different connections of the circuit. So on Tinkercad, I'm going to create a new circuit. Okay, and the first thing we are going to need, of course, is the Arduino board. So I'm going to import the Arduino board and I'm going to import also a breadboard. So not the small one, but the kind of the normal one. And I'm going to put it here and the Arduino here. Okay, like this. And then what are the components we need for the circuit? Well, we first need an LED. So I'm going to pick an LED. You can choose the color of the LED. So, well, we are going to keep red. And I am going to use a resistor. Okay. And let's pick a resistor here. And we are going to use 220 ohm resistor. So choose ohm here and 220 and you should see here red, red and brown. All right, so we have all the components we need and actually for the wires, we are going to directly be able to create wires like this okay, by clicking on the different dots. So you can press, if you create a wire, you can press escape to cancel the action. 
And now the first thing we are going to do is, if you remember, we are going to connect the ground with all the components. So first we have a breadboard and an Arduino board. We need to connect the ground of those two components. So where is the ground on the Arduino? Well, ground is represented here, as you can see, by GND. So you have one GND here. You have also one GND here and another one just on the side. I'm going to use that one, but you can use any GND you want. Okay. So let's make something nice here. You can make some clicks. Okay. And let's connect the blue line here with the GND. So now everything you connect to this line will be connected to the Arduino ground. And for ground, there is a standard color. So the convention is to use black wires. So I'm going to use black wires for ground stuff. So everything related and connected to ground will be black. And any other wires, I will choose another color than black, okay? So now the breadboard and the Arduino are correctly connected through the ground. I will put first the LED here. Let's put it um, there. So I'm going to connect one leg of the LED to one here, one line of dots, and the other leg to a different line of dots. Okay, don't connect the two together. And then you have, so you can see we have two legs and one that is called cathode is actually the shorter leg and one that is called anode is the longer leg. So as you're going to see with the real LED, one leg is here bigger than the other one. So now that we have plugged our LED to the circuit, we are going to take the here the shorter leg and connect it to the ground. So to connect to the ground, we don't need to connect it directly to the Arduino board. We can just connect it to this line, any point in this line. So I'm going simply to click here and click here, use the color black, and that's it. So I chose this point, but I could have chosen any point here uh, on this line. And also instead of here, I could have connected this wire to any point in this line, but I'm doing that to keep things organized. And then what we need to do is to connect the longer leg of the LED to a digital pin of the Arduino. So you can see digital pins are here. So we can actually control the LED. And we are going to use pin number 12. But we are not going to connect directly this to pin number 12 because we need to use a resistor between uh, the pin 12 and the, the LED so we can limit the current that goes through the LED. So I'm going to make it rotate like this and I'm going to connect one leg of the resistor to the longer leg of the LED. Okay, so for LED, there are two different legs. Okay, you need to pay attention to that. But for resistor, well, you, you don't really need to care about what sense you plug a resistance. There is no direction for resistance, okay? So this or uh, this leg will be fine. So now we have this leg which is connected here. As you can see, this is the same line. So we could put the resistor here, here, or here, or here. It's the same. And then we need to connect, of course, this part of the resistor. So I'm going to click here. And let's connect it to pin number 12. And for the color of the wire, well, I can keep green here, no problem. I'm going to rename here the circuit to LED. And well, that's it for the circuit. And now let's see how to do the circuit with the real hardware component. So first of all, you can just unplug your Arduino. So I'm going to remove the USB cable, you have your Arduino here, which has nothing for now. The breadboard, we will need a LED. So you can see here, 
I have a red LED and one leg is shorter than the other one. Okay, you can see we have longer leg here on the left and the right leg is shorter. Then we have our 220 ohm resistor. Okay. And we have two wires, okay? So one wire that should be black, if you can. So male to male wire and another one, okay, uh, that can be any color. I have chosen uh, green here, but do with what you have. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the ground. So I'm just going to do the same steps I did for uh, Tinker color, right? So I'm going to connect this ground here. Okay, as you can see, we have a ground, so the same one as before. I'm going to connect it to right here, this line, okay, with the minus. So all this line here will be connected to the ground of the Arduino. I take the LED, the shorter, the shorter leg here will go to the ground. So what I did with Tinkercad is I first plugged the LED like this and then connected uh, this leg to the ground. But what I can do with the LED directly is simply to connect the shorter leg to the ground, okay, just like this. I don't need to add another wire, okay, this will make the circuit a little bit simpler, okay, with less wires, okay. So now you can see I have one leg, so the shorter one, connected to ground. And then the longer one is connected to one of the lines here. So then I take my resistor. I put it between one. Here, yeah, let's put it there. So between the longer leg of the LED, here and another dot with another line. Okay, this is important. And finally, what I'm going to do is I take my uh, last wire, I put, so I connect with one uh, dot here on the line connected to this side of the resistor, and I'm going to put it to pin number 12. So actually, I'm going to use the Arduino like this, so it's like Tinkercad but just reversed. And I'm going to choose pin number 12, which is right here. All right. So quick recap here. We have ground connected to the minus line here. And then we have the LED between ground and this dot and then we have a resistor between the longer leg of the led and another dot on another line and finally this leg of the resistor is connected to pin number 12 and the circuit is now complete so what you can do now after you double and triple check that you can power on the Arduino simply by connecting it to your computer. Okay, and then you will be able to write a program and upload the program to do something with this LED. And now that the circuit is done, let's not waste any time and let's write some code for this new LED. Make sure you have correctly followed the previous tutorials because here I'm going to reuse the code we wrote for the LED before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do file open or you can do control O and well here you have the different programs and projects you have created before and here the first program it's what I need here. And you will see that it is exactly the program we need to make the LED blink. So what we have done here is first in the setup we use the pin mode to make the pin 13 as an output pin, okay, the pin 13 which was connected, if you remember, 
to the integrated LED. And then in the loop, we do digital write high to power on the LED. We wait for one second and then digital write with low to power off the LED. So what has changed? The thing is, we want the exact same behavior. Just what has changed is the pin number because now it is not 13, but now it is 12. So I'm going to change 13 to 12 here and also here and also here. So make sure you change to 12 for every function that requires the pin number. Also, if at this point you are confused with what is a digital pin, what are the pin mode and digital write functions, well, that's normal. And I will explain to you everything quite soon in the course. Right now, the important thing is to be able to make that LED blink with the circuit you have just built. So this program should be it. And now what you do, of course, is you plug the Arduino board to your computer. You make sure on tools that you have the correct board and the correct port. And then you can just, so you can verify or you can directly upload, which will verify and upload. Okay, done uploading. And you can see your first LED, the first real LED that you have plugged to your Arduino is now blinking every one second. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.